What helps build a strong presence at the poker table? A good poker face? A smart outfit? A big stack helps too. But here at the Poker Stars EPT London, it seems to be all about the watches. Some are miniature trophies of past successes. Some hold memories or act as lucky charms. And some are just pure indulgence. Shannon, you're blinging away there. <laughs> What's up with your watch? Oh, uh, this is a bright one. I think it's called a Super Avenger. I guess a lot of poker players have this one. I got it, I think, April of 2008 after I had a good tournament score. So I was like, I'm going to treat myself. Yeah. Do you like so, to do that like when you get scores to mark them, buy nice things for yourself? Uh, not really, actually. I think this is like the mo second most expensive thing I've ever bought so, besides my car. So, uh, no, nah, I think I'm, I don't know, not really. <laughs> Wear it every day? Uh, I've got a few different ones, so I, I kind of rotate them, rotate them around. It must be nice. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're nowhere near as, uh, as cool as this one. Though. So I see you're rocking the Rolex there, Fintan. Yeah, how are you, Rebecca? <laughs> uh, rocking the Rolex. Yeah, I actually do have a Rolex, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah. What's that about? Well, uh, a friend of mine is a Rolex dealer. And uh, I had a few quid, and a few loose pounds one day, so uh, he sold it to me. Yeah, it was like uh, retail twenty grand, twenty thousand euro. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it was actually a couple of months old. It was some businessman in London owned it, so I got it for about sixteen thousand euro. So I, I was happy enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has it been lucky for you? Um. Well, not in love. No, no. <laughs> I'm only joking. No. Um. No, it's grand. Yeah, it's like you know. It's a nice watch. It's very heavy though. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes it annoys me, you know. It's a terrible complaint. <laughs> no, it's grand. I like it. Yeah, yeah. If you take this down, would you buy a new one? Um, I actually probably would, you know, because I'd like to have a few watches, you know. <laughs> There's some watches in this tournament room. I'm, man, it's unreal. I've seen some really quality watches, but no, I'm happy with mine, yeah. David, I see you got a, a fairly nice watch on there. What's the story behind that? Uh, well, it's uh, an AP Audemars Spaghetti, uh, however you say it. I don't even really know the exact pronunciation. And uh, I always wanted one, and they made a, a collaboration with the Jewelers of Las Vegas, which is a friend of mine's jewelry company that actually provides me with all of the jewelry I usually wear. Uh, their family, the Yor Shamis, Lior, Benny, and a lot are good friends of mine. So they did a collaboration with AP, and they made 400 of this specific watch. And uh, I was able to get one. They're very limited, so I picked one up for my birthday a couple of years ago, and uh, you know I like it. It's pretty cool. Another nice watch. Tell me what's the story behind this one. Uh, I've got a really good story behind this watch. Um, I went. I bought it in 2008 um, after I won. After I come fourth for quarter of a million, and then in 2010 this year, the start of the World Series. First night I went out, picked up a girl, took her back to my room. <laughs> Woke up the next morning and my watch was gone and all my money. And I didn't have it insured, it was like a $10,000 watch, so I felt ill. And uh, so, I, so I went and after the World Series, I rebought the same watch and uh, I got it back. So uh, I'm running good again with my watch on. <laughs> when you look at it, you're not reminded of anything bad uh, then? No, because no, uh, I said after uh, I got my watch stolen, I said, it's all right, all my bad luck's out of the way now. Okay. I'm going to have a really good series, and I did, so okay. I, when you're it's probably about a good thing. When you're out and about, you probably look at it and go, I'm not doing anything stupid. No, I see any girl now and I just hide my watch. <laughs> <laughs> just go away, all the girls are just after your watch now. The winner of the EPT London main event is set to receive £900,000. That's plenty of cash to properly accessorise oneself. So let's see who can take home the bling.